in the Azores, it's known in the winter as being very wet. And we just got showers. This is very unpleasant. So I happen to have a towel with me <laughs> to stay dry. That's gonna be cut out. We're paying somebody local to paint our top sides. However, it's going quite slowly because we can't have that many days in a row without rain. But here you can see one of them sanding the primer coat so that they can put a new primer coat on top. And they're very thorough, so it's gonna be really good. We're excited. So our friend Scott is off in Naples, Italy lent us his car while he was away. Well, the weather's been so-so, some days it's rainy, some days it's not, and we're taking advantage of every single gorgeous moment we have. Uh -oh. This looks like Hobbiton. <laughs> So it's really cool, with all the volcanic activity, there's a lot of geothermal plants on the island. So about 15% of their energy actually comes from geothermal and wind. So it's totally renewable and not fossil fuel dependent. So it's really cool here. The landscape here is just so unique. It's all volcanic and vast and hilly and beautiful and lumpy. <laughs> and then on the other side, you look and it's just ocean. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The great thing about this drive is we just see incredible views and we pull over and you stop and just appreciate how incredible this island is and how varied it is. Right there is the ocean and we are just on the side of a mountain. And you can see the lighthouse up there and the sun is setting and there are cows grazing. It's just picture perfect. I just feel so blessed to have this opportunity to be here right now. There was a cruise ship that came in today and all these American tourists and they were only here for a few hours and I just was thinking about how with our style of travel we get to be here and really live here and experience it and go on these kind of just joy rides and see the things that most people don't get to see when they come here. So it's just a really special feeling. Today is an extra special day for two reasons. One, I found my razor, so I'm no longer going to look like a hobo. And two, today is the day our wood gets delivered to rebuild our galley. We're to get into a routine where we have our favorite places to get breakfast and galau, which is um, the latte. And uh, once you get into a routine like this, it's it's cool because it feels like home. <laughs> the problem with uh, having canvas on the boat is mildew inside. We wheeled over a dumpster and we're gonna get a lot of trash dumped off the boat right now. Today is a chore day on the boat and we're tossing a whole lot of stuff that we have that we just found to be extraneous and has just piled up over the past few months. We are also going to take care of cleaning Wendy up. Wendy's our monitor wind vane that got us across the ocean, so we hope that she can continue to do so, and therefore we have to take care of her. So Herbie's using Mother's to 
de-rustify her. Okay, so a little bit of a bummer. The wood did not come today. The estimated arrival time for the wood now is next week. End of next week. So it's currently Friday and they hope it'll be ready Thursday. So, oh well. Back to town we go. Whew, well, I just finished editing one of our episodes and I think it's time for a reward. So we're gonna go for a walk because it is a gorgeous day. Oh. This is the view from the house that we've been staying in kind of intermittently. Uh, it belongs to our good friends now, Scott and Grasa. And I've been staring at this gorgeous view all day while I edit videos. And now I get to reward myself by taking a walk to that town right over there, uh, which is Praia, which is one of the main towns on Tercera. Spirit house. Cow. There's no legs. Goats. Spirit house. Cow. Escaping cactus. Cat. So the packages from West Marine finally came in. So today is a work day because all of those packages came and we're just grabbing some lunch before we get started. We're able to work because now we have materials. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of crazy. So when you think about it, we ordered stuff from West Marine, which is a chandlery in the United States and had it shipped here to the Azores, which sounds absolutely ridiculous. But believe it or not, it was actually cheaper to do that than to buy the stuff here locally. Uh, for example, a gallon of hardener and resin here costs about 380 euros, which is well over $400 for one gallon of resin. So one of the first projects we're going to do is we're going to repair the floors. And these are the structural floors. You have the keel timber and then the floor timbers. Uh, they're not the ones you walk on. The ones you walk on in a boat are actually called soles. So we're going to kind of rip out all the rotten wood that's on this floor and then instead of putting new wood back in I'm actually going to build it back up in coring and in well foam coring and then in epoxy resin so there's sole bearers which are the parts that support the floor that you stand on and then there's floors I know it gets really confusing but they're two completely different things one is structural to the integrity of the hall the other makes it comfortable to walk around in the boat pretty much Douglas fir these guys are the floors. So this is a three-quarter inch plywood. It's marine plywood, but the problem is the top of it is exposed. So there's no paint, no resin, nothing covering the tops. So then any moisture that drips into the boat goes right into the grain and can rot the wood out, which is exactly what happened. So this is actually all that remains of a rotten soul bear. The soul bear ran from here all the way over that way to the edge of the boat and it was this region here. It completely rotted away. So the plan is we're going to replace that rotten soul bear with a new one. We're going to repair the floor that had some rot and then we're going to repaint the entire bilge. We have a little bit of rot in the soul bear and then we have a completely rotted out section of the floor. So where the floor comes up to meet the hall, it just rotted away. So now that we have everything sanded and just stripped down, uh, our next step is to start glassing it back. And I sanded off the paint on this side, that way the fiberglass can bond directly to the wood and it'll give it a much stronger bond. And then we're going to feather it over the paint because by that point any water that's fallen is dripping off. Inside this hole 
that's rotted out, instead of putting in new wood, I'm going to put in foam. So the foam that I'm going to be using to replace the rotted out floor is actually this stuff. It's called foam core. So it comes with this little checker pattern on it, and the idea is that every inch, there's a line that's scored straight across it so you can just bend it and snap it. And then on the other side... Bend and snap. And then on the other side, it's the same grid, but it's offset by a half inch. So what you get is the ability to snap it off every half inch in any direction. So this is really cool if you're making something square, but ours is triangular, so I need a knife. So the idea is we're just gonna sandwich this up and fill it in the majority of the way with these little pieces of foam. And then we'll fill in the rest with thickened epoxy. Now that we have everything dry fitted, we're going to take it all out, mix up the epoxy, get everything wet, and then put it all back in. So at the end we'll have a nice fiberglass over floor and sole bear that hopefully would be at least mostly protected from rot because things can always rot. It's a boat. So here we have the sole bear. It has the bevel cut to match the hull on this side, and then over here it's going to come across the uh, the other timbers of the sole bear, and these notches are just for wires that run under the floor. So here we have a piece of white oak that's all milled, and we're going to epoxy it and get it all set in there. Huh. With that, the sole bear is fixed. The fiberglass work is done in the bilge. So we have the replacement sole bear put in. I got the notches cut, that way the wires can fit through. And I've epoxied only the edges. And the reason is I'm gonna actually oil the wood and we're gonna maintain that wood oiled, that way we can monitor it for rot. Because if we cover it up with epoxy and paint, you know there's always gonna be a tiny spot that got missed or water found its way in and then it rots it from the inside. feels good that uh, we've accomplished some stuff today. While Herbie was working, I was editing, so um, got a lot of that done. And now we're going to go take showers, because we deserve it and need it. So now we have the builds completely done from a structural standpoint. Now we have to do the cosmetic and longevity issues. So what we're going to do first is we're going to wash it with thinner and then we're going to paint it and then it's going to stink because all the fumes and we're in a tiny boat which is why our friend Scott is coming to pick us up immediately after I'm done painting that way we can get out of here and we don't have to you know all the fumes and things. here but I just need to fight this thing and we're gonna go get some uh, breakfast and keep working on the boat. Having a migraine and having a grinder right next to your head is not the greatest but honestly it feels like it's worth it just to get some work done on the boat and know that something is moving forward because we've been a few days few weeks now where just nothing has moved forward so it's worth it it feels good to know that we're actually getting stuff done or Herbie is at least <laughs> having a little bit of trouble with Constructora, which is where we're getting our wood for all of our product projects, but we keep calling them and finally it paid off and they are on their way right now to deliver it, so we are hastening back to the boat. <laughs> Do -do -do. 
So the wood came in and we are super excited. We're gonna be doing butcher block mahogany and it's gonna be edge grain butcher block and it's gonna be gorgeous. <laughs> While Herbie is painting and uh, glassing my closet floor, I've been doing the laundry. Book your next adventure with Travel Canoe, a new website that makes it easy to find excellent hotels and incredible tours all over the world, even when traveling on a budget. Find their link in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.